Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and today we're going to be customising this, the brand new Karin Pavilion. <laughs> Now I apologise that I haven't actually made any customization videos on any of these yet. Um, those of you who watched my video the other day will know that my PC broke. Um, so as these cars have been drip feeding into GT Online, I haven't actually been able to customise them uh, and get videos out for you. Um, but I have actually recorded some videos for these, so let me know in the comments if you want to see customization for all of these cars. Um, then I can post those videos for you. I have them ready to go um, But I just figured because it's a little bit late these cars have been out now for like a couple of months I figured there was probably no point um, But we are customizing the new pavilion today. Uh, it is this red one right here um, Based on some kind of Toyota. I'm not really sure um, But this is actually the last drip feed car from the Los Santos tuner update and now my PC's working, I thought I'd make a video for you. Uh, so, we're going to customise this thing today. Um, this thing costs about 1.4 million if you choose the buy it now price. Let me just show you the car on the website here so you can have a little better look. There it is, the Karen Previan. Uh, very strange name. Uh, the trade price is 1.1 million and the buy it now is 1.4 for almost 1.5 million so it's not a cheap vehicle I will say that much but it is one of the new tuner cars so it probably has quite a lot of customization um, you can pause the video here and read this if you want to but let's just hop straight into the actual customization of the thing okay so here we are in the auto shop I'm going to be customizing the new Previan uh, but before we get into the video, I just want to say, if you do go on to enjoy the video, it would be awesome if you could smash the like button. And also, leave us a comment, let us know who's watching and what you want to see me play in the next video. And if you are new to the channel and you like what you see, then it would be awesome if you could subscribe. We are slowly growing our subscribers. We recently hit 1,000, which is absolutely awesome. So thank you to everyone who is already subscribed. And uh, also, if you want to get some mouldy merch, then make sure you check out the link in the description below. But let's get on with the actual customization. Now, this thing looks like a very 90s-esque vehicle, so I figured it's probably going to have some 90s-esque customization to it. Um, it's one of those cars that when you see it in its stock form like this, you think that's a bit of a grandpa's car. But once you slap on some spoilers and stuff, it looks a lot better. So let's slap on full armor, full brakes. And then first option is bumpers. So we got the stock bumper. We can go for a custom front bumper. Already makes the car look way better. It's a very radical front bumper. We got the street bumper, kind of like a super style look to it. Um, we've got the race front bumper and the drift setup front bumper. Um, I quite like this one, uh, the like Supra style one. Uh, the front of this does look a little bit like a Supra. I mean, it is supposed to be based on some kind of Toyota. I'm sure one of you will let me know in the comments what Toyota this is based off. Um, I believe it's also based off a Honda Prelude, uh, but there we go. We've got the stock rear bumper, rear diffuser, and then we've got the primary tipped diffuser. Not a fan of those, so I'm going to leave that stock. Um, engine options. Now, if you haven't seen any customization of the new vehicles, we can now actually customize the engine block. Um, so this is similar to what we can do on the Benny's cars. So we've got the stock engine, we can go for a primary V8. We've got the primary ridged V8, which just adds ridges on the valve covers there. And we've got the secondary V8 and the secondary ridged. I'm going to go for primary, um, yeah, just the primary V8. That looks nice. Rail covers. Um, this is going to be the bit on the top there. We've got the stock. We've got chrome. We've got um, primary plated, secondary plated 
chrome meshed rails, primary meshed, secondary meshed, chrome smooth, primary smooth, secondary smooth, chrome bolted, primary bolted, secondary bolted, primary ridged, um, secondary ridged, then we got plastic full rail covers, brushed full rail covers, primary full rail covers, secondary full rail covers, primary race rail covers, secondary race rail covers, um, primary APX rail covers, carbon APX rails, brushed GT rails, primary GT rails, and finally secondary GT rails. A lot of rail cover options in there. Um, I think Rockstar may have focused a little bit too much on the rail covers in here. Uh, but I like this, the primary ridged rail covers, so I'm going to go with that. Strut braces, um, it already has a strut brace, a standard, some vehicles do, some don't. Um, but I'll just quickly run through all of these, they're basically the same ones that you see on most of the other vehicles. Um, there's a couple of new ones in there as well, but I like this one, the carbon strut brace, so we'll go with that. Air filter options, already has that little intake on the side there. Um, but we can add some better ones. We got the plastic upper intake manifold, plastic 450 CUI, the primary 450 CUI and secondary. Then we got the brushed V8 4 cam. We got the plastic V8 air intake system, the brushed V8 air intake system, primary V8 air intake system, and secondary. Um, I'm not really sure what to go for on this, to be honest. Um, I'm thinking maybe this one. Yeah, that's quite nice. It's very similar to the stock one, um, but I like it in black. It looks a bit better. Then engine tunes, we'll go for full engine tuning. Exhaust options, we've got a few exhausts in here. Uh, standard exhausts look a little bit puny, so we'll see if we can get some bigger ones. We've got some square exit exhausts dual titanium tips uh dual exhaust so basically the same but just chrome uh, we've got the street exhausts angled uh, sorry titanium tipped exhaust the angled blast pipes and the straight blast pipes um not a huge fan of blast pipes i'll be honest um i think we might just go with this the dual exhaust i like that it looks very nice uh, fender options, we got the stock fenders, we can get primary bolted fenders, I think that's only on the front as well. Uh, then we got the primary front fenders, so basically the same, well, it is a little bit different actually, it adds those two little scoops behind the back wheel there, let me see if I can zoom in for you, um, yeah we'll go with that, and then on the rear we got stock bolted um, stock primary or bolted we'll go and match that on the rear just makes the uh, makes them a little bit wider looks a bit more uh, like race carish I like it um, intercooler options next we've got no intercooler we can go for the custom intercooler we can go for small logo we can go for large logo we can go for intercooler with twin fans and intercooler with water sprayer um, I do like all these options but something I've just noticed I don't know if you guys have noticed this as well it's a Karen vehicle but we've got an Anis intercooler I don't know whether that's a mistake or whether it's supposed to be like that but um, surely that should say Karen on it. I, w I would have thought, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. I'm going to go for the custom intercooler. I would have gone for the one with the writing on, but I think it's a little bit weird having the writing when it's not for the right car. So we'll just go without for now. Um, headlight options next. This is going to be the tint on the headlight glass. So we've got stock. We can go for green, red, blue yellow and neon or neo sorry uh, I'm just gonna leave it stock not really a fan of those uh, hood options we got hood catches first of all these are gonna be similar to what we've seen in the past we got chrome 
angle plastic, latch hoods, blue latch hoods, red latch hoods, and gold. Um, I guess we'll go for some chrome. They look quite nice. Hood options next. Uh, we got stock. We got a carbon version of that. Now the see-through hood option. I've been seeing this a lot on the new tuner cars. They all have the see-through bonnet. And I don't know what Rockstar were thinking with this. It is just so weird looking. Um, not a fan of these at all. But there we go. Um, we got the vented hood. We got the carbon vented hood. The street hood. The carbon street hood. Full vented street hood. And the carbon version of that. Then we got the side vented hood. It looks a little bit weird. And a carbon version of that. We got the tuner hood and carbon version of that and that is it um, I quite like just the street hood just one big vent in the middle looks very nice we'll go with that um, horn not gonna bother with interior options um, the dash we can go for um, a race dash if you want to do that um, I think we might just go for no actually I think we'll just leave that uh, dials uh, we've got stock dials, we can go for a taco, gash, dash gauges, sorry, we can go for the pod taco and dash gauges, or we can just go for the pod mounted taco, I do like that, so we'll go with that. Um, door options, we've got stock, aluminium, um, I'll just run through all these, these are similar to what we see on the Benny's cars. Seat options are going to be the same as what we've seen on cars previously. So we got stock seats, and then the secondary colour does affect the stitching around the side there. So anything you see orange is actually the secondary colour, and obviously you can go for all the seats. I'm just going to leave them stock. So there we go. Um, steering wheel options. Um, I am a huge fan of this one here, the Sprint Professional. That's quite nice. I also like the Sprint Clubman. It looks very nice as well. Um, and the Sprint Mark II, I think we'll go with that actually. Roll cage options, we got the option of a half cage, we got the Dash Dodger cage, which for some reason is all secondary, but that one bit down there and down that side is primary. It's a little bit weird, but okay. We got the padded Dash Dodger, and then we got the full roll cage, and the padded full roll cage, okay. I'm not really a fan of roll cages in cars, so I'm going to leave that out. Then we move on to headlight options, and the headlights are quite yellow, actually. Um, so we'll go for some Xenon headlights, and obviously you can change the colour of these in the new car meet as well. If you have a membership at the new car meet, then you can go and customise your car, and you can change your headlight colour like you can in the arena. So there's no need to buy an arena to change your headlights anymore. Um, livery options next we've got no livery we've got racing stripe just one white stripe down the middle we got black version of that and we got Karen stripes just two black stripes on one side and it also has that Karen writing we got that in yellow as well then we got the shopping list nice black shopping list down the side a few little sponsors around the front bumper there and a few on the back and we got that in white as well. Then we got the classic Karen. Um, then we got Stance Andreas. We've seen a few vehicles with this Stance Andreas style livery. Um, it's actually quite nice. I do like that. We got that in blue as well. Then we've got the Power Metal Drift team. And that is your lot. Um, I don't really know what I want to go for on this. I'm thinking possibly the shopping list. But I think we'll come back to delivery at the end. Mirror options. We've got stock mirrors, secondary or carbon. Just going to leave those stock. Plate options. We'll go ahead and set that to black. Uh, respray we'll come back to at the end. But you do get a primary, secondary, trim and accent colour. Which is nice. Roof options. We've got the stock roof. We can go for a race roof scoop and a tuner roof scoop. Gonna leave that off actually. Skirt options next. We got stock, we got the street. Just adds an extra little sort of lip down there, looks nice. We got the tuner one again, not too crazy. I like that. 
just a nice subtle difference we got the race skirt and we got the custom skirt and finally the street race setup skirt actually some very nice skirt options in there they're not too big they don't look too crazy um, I think we're gonna go with this the tuna skirt looks very good uh, splitter options next going to be under the front bumper we got none we can go for a plastic splitter we got the secondary splitter we can go for a primary one then we got the street splitter in carbon primary uh, oh and primary uh, then we got the carbon race splitter and we got that in primary and in second secondary excuse me um, I don't know whether we really want to go for a splitter today um, I think it would look better to be honest but these splitter options are a little bit weird um, you know what no I'm gonna leave it I'm not gonna go for a splitter option I don't really like any of those so we'll leave them off spoiler options we definitely need a spoiler to improve the look of this thing we've got no spoiler Go for a small spoiler. We got the custom spoiler, street tuna, race competition, big wang. This is similar to what you get on the Karuma. We got the stacked spoiler. That's similar to what you get on the Sultan RS, the custom one. Uh, we got the chassis mounted spoiler and the chassis mounted alternative. Um, I like this one, the first one. Um, just adds a little spoiler on there. It's a little bit more sort of, um, yeah, it looks a bit more higher spec, but it's not too crazy. This looks a bit weird. It's a bit too big for the car, and all these are a little bit, yeah. So we're gonna go with that, the small spoiler. Sun strips. We've got quite a few sun strips actually. We can go non, primary, plastic white Fukaru, black Fukaru, white mine mac, black mine mac, white power metal and black power metal. Um, I think we might go for the black Fukaru one. I do like that. Um, suspension options. The suspension is quite high at the moment so yeah you can get quite a big drop in this thing if you want to. Um, and it obviously cambers out the wheels as well so it's that last drop there that really cambers out the wheels I'm gonna go with the street suspension um, it's just a little bit lower and a tiny little bit of camber that looks good we'll go full race transmission and turbo tuning and finally wheels um, the stock wheels aren't bad I don't think we have these wheels if you do want to color them which is a bit of a shame but we can probably find some similar to it but I'll go in and pick out some nice wheels and I'll be back in a second okay so I've decided to go with these um, they're in the street category in case you want to find them yourself and I've just gone and paint them black and then window tint will just go for a light smoke makes it a little bit darker looks very very nice and finally we just need to actually go ahead and paint the vehicle um, I'm really struggling to know what color to go for on this thing. I'm thinking something like a silver might look quite good. Um, something like this actually looks very, very nice. In fact, I'm going to go with that. Yeah, the silver looks great. Um, then the secondary option is going to change the brake calipers, the top of the door handle there, and also the stitching on the interior, if you have any stitching. Um, so I'm not sure what we'll go for on this I'm actually thinking I think black there we go black looks good I like that um, trim color you can also change the trim color that's going to be like at the middle of the seat and the middle of the doors as well um, so I guess we'll just set that to like a silver again we'll just set that to like stone silver and then accent color is the color um, of the instruments there but I'm just gonna leave that as ice white because I like to be able to see it and that is the car fully customized um, there's quite a few nice tuning parts on this there's a few that are a little bit crazy for my liking 
Um, the car overall, I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of the look of the car, but it isn't terrible. Um, the back of the car definitely looks a lot nicer. Uh, the front, I'm not too keen on. Uh, but there we go. Let's take the car outside and see how it drives. And I'll give you a bit of a review on it. Alright, so here we are outside in the new Previan. Uh, the front end of this thing actually reminds me... A little bit of like a new shape um, Pontiac Firebird or possibly like a Ford Probe it does have that kind of like front end to it um, the back end actually looks a little bit more kind of like a Subaru to me uh, with those tail lights going on um, so it probably has a few of those cars mixed in with it um, but I think it is mainly based off some kind of old Toyota uh, but there we go what do I actually think of the car? Well, it has some good customization parts, as I said. A few of them are a little bit wacky, but it does have some very tasteful ones as well. Um, the livery options aren't too bad either. Um, if you're someone who likes to go for livery options, you can make this thing look quite individualistic. Um, obviously, if you're a fan of the whole cambered lowered scene, then you can get some crazy camber uh, and lowering going on in this car. I'm personally not a huge fan of that. I like it just subtly low um, But not too much camber and stuff, but if you're into that then you can get quite a lot of angle on this car um, The car itself for what it is I think is a little bit expensive um, There's a lot there's a lot more cars for a lot cheaper that have similar levels of customization um, but the car is actually a lot better looking but if you're someone who's into like 90s vehicles then you might want to add this to your garage um, but my overall opinion should you buy this vehicle well if you're struggling for cash then I'd steer clear of it it's not got great performance to be honest um, it is more of a show vehicle which I'm finding a lot of these tuner vehicles are a little bit more for show than actual performance um, so there is that to consider and also the actual look of the car I've mentioned a few times I'm not a fan of but that is a personal thing um, you may really like the look of this vehicle so if you've not got a lot of money stay clear of it if you've got plenty of money and you want to buy this thing then it isn't a bad vehicle there's a lot a lot worse vehicles in the game let me know what you guys think of the vehicle in the comments down below. Are you glad Rockstar added this vehicle or do you think it's just more of a filler vehicle? But that's going to do it for today. Hope you all did enjoy. I apologise that I haven't customised any of the previous vehicles. Um, if you want to see customisation of that, let me know and I will drop some of those videos out for you. But that's going to do it for today. I'll see you all in the next video.